How how is something that you don't use that often a hassle? That's a that's um something that makes me cry. Anyway, hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another uh, six months in review slash impressions review kind of for the 2021 M1 iPad Pro. I think I got the name right four times in a row. I had to do this, and I think I got the name right. <laughs> but um, so yeah, I've had the iPad for about six months now. It, it I got it in july of 2021 and it is whatever time i'm looking at right now it doesn't matter anymore time is irrelevant but um i have a couple a couple of things to say about it and the first thing is that it's very much worth it simple as that um it's a giant ipad for me it's like one pound i think in total maybe i've been lifting weights so i don't know how much a pound is anymore but um it has been fun to use so far and the one thing I can truly say about it is it is a good workhorse of a tablet and uh, in using it I've come to realize that I still like drawing in sketchbooks you know I like I like drawing on um, like draw, drawing in my lap or drawing somewhere else that isn't just on my table because um, like my last video I've been using I've been I swapped basically I've been using my Hue on Canvas 22 Plus which is like right behind me in this chair and not this tablet so like for six months I just didn't really use the tablet but I did obviously I just didn't use it that much for drawing I used it to watch uh, live streams and stuff but it was still fun and overall I still have plenty of things to say about it so far I've only been using about three art related apps that would technically be four uh, I think it was called pen sketch but I uninstalled pen sketch because I wasn't really using it that much and I have been using procreate obviously uh, with the 5.0 update or I think it's 5.2 now I don't know I, lo I lose track and then I've been using Auto Autodesk sketchbook as well as this new to me it's very old now um, this new to me uh, 3d sculpting app called Forger and Forger has been super fun so far um, hopefully I actually recorded like actually the recording of me using Forger is a uh, still intact and you can see it like right now and all that good stuff but um forger has been a very interesting app for me because i know how to make 3d stuff and i do a lot of 3d sculpting and modeling but uh it's still a, a headache i should say without you know getting angry at the app because the app didn't do anything wrong <laughs> using procreate in combination with the apple pencil um just makes for a great experience with no parallax or no lag or at least not that i've seen there probably is like a little bit of lag but it's it's so small that you can't see it at all so whatever but um i've been making a lot of small paintings and, and a lot of initial sketches that i can bring over into my he one tablet um or at least into photoshop and then work on my he one tablet just for uh bigger and longer longer projects and stuff like that i've been using the ipad as a lot more of a one-off type of scenario and i've just uh running i've just been running a small amount of things through it just because it's not something that i wanted to um, have as my main workhorse when i already have one and it's great to have two workhorses but it's like you need to make sure one is leading basically i think that makes sense i don't know i'm sorry <laughs> it's been so fun to actually use this entire sketchbook for the well, I call it a sketchbook. It's basically a sketchbook. Like it's it's so it's been so fun to use the iPad the way that I've been using it for the past few months. Just because I'm like, I can take just about all of my digital work with me and not have to lug around. Well, I can't really say lug because the tablet's behind the the Hue One tablet's behind me, and it's not like it's it weighs 12 pounds like the Wacom I have. But uh, yeah, um, it's still about six pounds as well as 22 inch 23 inches worth of space and real estate that i have to put in my baggage with this little guy i can just slip right behind my laptop in my bag and then boom i have my drawing tablet with me anywhere and um you know the apple pencil works as well like the apple pencil just works and once again i broke the apple pencil uh the first the no 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 day three um <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, I broke, so I took the Apple pencil. I mean, I took the whole thing with me on the trip to Savannah, Georgia with um, my family for the 4th of July. And while I was drawing outside, 
it works great for drawing outside just in case you couldn't tell um i dropped the apple pencil straight down onto the nib and it just got bent right there you know that made me cry a little bit so after i broke it um i realized that it was bent and i couldn't really use the um pencil that well i was able to get a little bit of traction and i was able to continue my little pieces of work that i was doing but it was like i am suffering so about 10 minutes later i ended up buying you know more nibs and then you saw that in the video about the first part of the ipad wait my, then you saw that in the previous video about the ipad and after that it was just um uh, you know pain and uh suffering for the next couple of days and then i finally got them and i switched it out and i was like yes oh this is divine intervent in, in, intervention right there but yeah so i had to suffer for this ipad a little bit because you know that was the only thing i was able to draw with because i actually didn't bring my sketchbooks to the trip and i uh, regretted that so now i have more sketchbooks another thing i bought from the incredible deals because this little sketchbook is very cool I don't even think it's actually a sketchbook. I think it's a notebook, but uh, it's cool. It has ties on it. I like that. That's really dope. It has a nautical. Oh yeah, it has a compass on it. I like that. Didn't notice that until now. That's what you get for not paying attention to stuff. It was a dollar too, so I don't care. Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> back to back to everything. Um, the new Procreate update has been so fun. It has been great. I have been able to open up so many layers, and I've actually been able to import a lot of PSD. Um, files, uh, Photoshop documents for anybody who doesn't know. I've been able to work with those files almost directly into Procreate. There were some, because I just make, I make billions of layers in Photoshop, there were some layers I had to cut down on and actually um, test out before I integrated it with Procreate, but it was still fun. I liked uh, being able to do just something small like that or even being able to uh, import this is better but being able to import a file that i was working on in procreate to photoshop in the form of a psd or again photoshop document and that worked a lot better so i can it's easier to import stuff from the ipad to my uh laptop and actually work on it there with my uh Huon tablet so i actually really like that i like the modular or the i like the modular ability or at least the uh illusion of being modular like that um there are a lot of people because i have the uh 12.9 inch ipad there are a lot of people who do complain about the size for me it's all right because i actually am used to working on uh big sketchbooks now i've been i've been used to drawing big for about three years now and even though i do love i do love the small sketchbooks like you just like you just saw before i think that sketchbook is about four inches by six inches maybe even four and a half maybe five inches by seven inches i don't know i like small sketchbooks just like that but for me it's uh never really been a size issue i don't i don't know it's never been a problem for me don't know i liked it it was cool uh the camera we don't talk about the camera all right it's an it's an ipad okay it doesn't you don't get it for cameras <laughs> but it is worth talking about a little bit i've been using the camera for some live streams for my separate business and it has been working you know the way that it should it's not the best but it works so woo so yeah just in case anybody cared about the camera and the procreate 5.0 update because i kind of got off topic on that a little bit you have the ability to import 3d models and um well uh, you have the ability to import obj or object files which are in themselves 3d rendered files um as soon as i found this out i started going crazy with it i, I tried to do my best to import swords and um swords people uh, backgrounds and a few other things into the into procreate itself just to see how good it can render everything and it actually did very well mostly um there were some things that i could easily like send to procreate and say hey uh, guys can you do this a little better or do something like that a little better but i'm pretty sure once you get to 6.0 and 7.0 update wise you're probably going to have a lot more capability with uh, procreate you might end up having you might end up being able to use blender in procreate for some reason or being able to use some of the blender tools in procreate i should say i just want a grease pencil all right procreate let me get a grease print let me let me get a grease pencil in in in, in your app please that will be so fun. 
and while i'm saying that they may actually already have one and my update is just out of date and i may need to update but uh if Pro procreate if you're ever hearing this please i would love to get a grease pencil in the ipad i mean yeah in, in the ipad in the app that would be awesome but um getting away from procreate a little bit i've been using um autodesk sketchbook as well and i've been using autodesk sketchbook actually as a sketchbook that's one of the main reasons why i refer to the ipad as a sketchbook um simply because again even though this is the 12.9 inch ipad and some people do prefer the uh the ipad mini when it comes to like actual sketchbooking um when i take it outside and actually do some sketchbooking right now it's actually raining and i really don't want to go outside but when i do <laughs> it is very fun to do because you're either in the sunlight or even in the shade and you can adjust the screen itself and it will never replace an actual sketchbook but it does come close sometimes and when i have my smear guard and, and my grip on the apple pencil it's very fun to just do and for sketchbook i've just been sketching 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 nothing really crazy nothing too out of there and nothing too elaborate or anything like that it's just been super fun to actually sketch and work on stuff like that so yeah and um that's kind of that's kind of really it in all i just wanted to talk about some of my experiences with the ipad it's been fun it has been truly fun and i'm grateful to apple mostly for allowing this to happen but you know yeah so with all that being said i want to thank you all for watching i want to kind of wrap up a little bit and all that good stuff um if you have any questions about the ipad pro or procreate in general or even like uh, autodesk sketchbook for um, the iPad because I'm pretty sure Autodesk Sketchbook is just the same everywhere, but whatever. But um, if you have any questions like that, or even like, Ooh, what brushes do you use and stuff like that, please let me know in the comments. Subscribe, give this video a like, and all that good stuff. And uh, tune in for some more good, good quality content in the future because I will be making that stuff. I think maybe possibly. So yeah. Um, once again, thank you all for watching, and until next time. Maybe I'll add some more stuff into this. But until next time, after that, until next time, I will catch you all later. So one of the funniest things that I found out about using the iPad with Procreate is how far the Apple Pencil actually responds still, no matter how far it is. So basically, as I have the pen on, if I do double tap, I can erase one of the fastest ways to start erasing. And let me draw something else here. If I double tap here, you should be able to see oh it. Oh my God, that was too fast. So now if I'm this way, it still works. Where is it? <laughs> and let's see. So draw one more time and let's go back this way. I was like five feet away, or at least my arm was. This is really cool. And that is because the iPad uses a Bluetooth connection somehow with the Apple Pencil instead of uh, the standard way that um, a drawing tablet like the Huon Canvas 22 Plus, my main drawing tablet, we use with the, what is, is the electroconductive uh, tip or something like that. Science, 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 more science. I don't care to explain it. So now, here one more time so that's cool I think the furthest I was able to get this to trigger was about 10 feet away so basically it was across the room which was very cool so yeah one of the coolest things about procreate or at least the iPad itself so another reason why it's worth it so yeah